babies. <clears throat> ah, okay, so my hand's feeling a little bit better, so I decided that I was going to continue with my Kraken. <clears throat> so I've got the majority of it done. I have to do the back on it. Oh, excuse me, the body. I just finished making the eyes. <clears throat> so this is how he's looking so far. I just have to make the body. Then I gotta make the middle pieces that Jeanette from Miss Hootie Hooten had told me about. Um, which made the Kraken look so, so much better. But I wanted to show you the eyes because I think they're really cool. So, whoop. Now, do you think they match? Oop. Look at the. Hang on. I was trying a new setting on my phone. I guess it's not working properly. <laughs> anyway, so here is the eyes. Okay, here is the leg. Do you think it's matches okay? I think it's I think it's pretty good. I don't know. Why doesn't my phone focus? Ugh. I still haven't figured out <clears throat> how to do the focusing on my phone. It doesn't do like close-up focusing very well so but anyways you get the gist of it right yeah <clears throat> so now I just have to do the body and put that on and yeah and then all eight of the triangles which ugh, yeah but I have to say this yarn the the mystical love it love 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 it um i it doesn't it, it feels just a slight bit like blanket yarn but it's squishy and it glides and it's it's really nice yarn i have to say um almost want to make a sweater out of it almost um but i don't know how it washes up <clears throat> so yeah so there's that god my throat is just <clears throat> mm. yeah so um I really like it it doesn't feel like microfiber at all I'm I'm really impressed really impressed with it I just hope that they don't discontinue it or like just bring it in for a little bit just to see how it goes and then it's gone. Um, I hope they bring in a whole bunch more colors and keep it around because I really like this. And for somebody who has a real sensitivity to microfiber and to say that this is spot on, this is, this is great, that's huge. So yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go and finish this guy. And uh, I'll be back. You know I love you. When I go and I share, I make griddle. Yeah. Hi. Okay, so the octopus is done. I have just one issue. <laughs> but here we go. Oh, there's tentacles everywhere. <laughs> okay. There he, he, she, it is. Okay. Ooh, the eyes. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty big. Uh, the only issue I have, well, okay, I've got two issues. One, I messed up on the underneath because, ugh, the bobble stitches here are supposed to be the same color as these. And it was late at night and whatever. 
Uh, the other issue I have is I'm wondering if maybe for the body I should have used a smaller hook. Um, and I didn't because I didn't stuff it. Usually I stuff these like really good. And I didn't this time because I was worried that the stuffing was going to show through. And so now it's kind of really squishy, which is fine. Um, but yeah. I'm just, the last one I did, I, I just really stuffed it, but that's okay because it still looks really cool. So, yeah. So there's the pieces I was telling you about that Jeanette, I, I'm so glad that Jeanette told me about this because I think it really makes, makes the realistic part of it, um, stand out especially when it's down on the floor or what, or on a table or whatever, then these pieces really make it uh, more realistic. She was totally right about that. And I'm so glad that I took her advice. Um, so yeah, so it stands out like this and yeah, I'll take a couple pictures. I wish I could go outside and take some pictures or take this one down to the ocean like I did the other one but it's raining like crazy and it hasn't stopped so once this atmospheric river or whatever the heck it's called goes away <laughs> then i can take this down and get some really good pictures of it but i gotta say i really like the colors and i absolutely love this mystical yarn you guys like i'm really shocked it, this is squishy and huggable. Oh my God. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'm not keeping it. I'm going to sell it, right? <laughs> Keep telling myself that. Um, so anyway, I, yeah, I, I just, it's soft. It's, it's, I really, really like it. So I'm going to have to get some more. I do have the pink stuff and I'm going to try to make something out of the pink stuff. This would be a really nice sweater, but I just don't know how it would wash. I don't know if it would be like um, the other yarn that would worm. I don't like comment down below if you've used the mystical as a wearable and if you've washed it and let me know what you guys think, because if I get comments saying, oh, I've used it as a wearable and it washes up perfectly. I am so making a sweater out of this. I, I have to because it would be gorgeous. Um, yeah, here I am fondling this thing. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so there he is. She, it, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, it's done. So let's move on to the next thing. Hi, Yarnabies. So today has been a day, as you can tell. For those of you that watch my videos, I'm in my bedroom. Yep. Why? I'm hurting. <laughs> yep. So, it's been a long time coming, but George and I needed to get one of those big bins uh, delivered. And we needed to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff at the house. Like, a whole bunch of stuff. We pretty much filled up the bin. It was a big bin, too. So, <clears throat> yeah. So, we're both kind of hurting a bit. Um, so, now I'm sitting here. Oh, excuse me. Oh, and I thought, you know what? I've got some chickens that I, some maple chickens that I didn't finish. I had the, the body done, but I hadn't stuffed it, hadn't made eyes for them. So I did that. And then I realized after I made the eyes that I actually have four chickens, four and a half chickens. I'm not, I, that's all I've got for the one chicken. But I had the body of the other one and I only made three sets of eyes. So 
I'll have to do that tomorrow. But I wanted to show them to you. They're not like the big ma maple chickens, and they're not the really tiny maple chickens. These ones I made, they're, they're smaller, but they're cute. Like, they fit in the palm of my hand. <laughs> so, hopefully you can see the eyes. That's one set. That's two sets. I like that one. And then there's the other set. That one's nice too. I like that one. <clears throat> so I've got three done. And I can't do the other one because I don't have some eyes. <laughs> oh, crap. And the eyes take me a little bit to do so because there's a little bit, little bit of a process with these. So, <clears throat> but that's okay. I'll get it done tomorrow. I, uh, I got, some, I got popcorn. I just made some popcorn. If you eat popcorn, do you do different things with your popcorn? Like not just butter. I do. I put, um, garlic powder and today I'm putting some dried dill weed. Oh, mmm. Oh, that's good. So, <clears throat> I'm going. Mm. So, now that I'm done that, oh, now that I'm done the chicken thing, can't do these ones. So, because George is watching football. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking tomorrow, I'm thinking that maybe, oh, Maybe. I'm thinking maybe tomorrow I'm going to try to do the lovey. I haven't picked up that book, that lovey book, the mama, mama makes whatever. I haven't picked it up since because I got really upset with those years. <laughs> so I'm going to maybe try it again. I start, yeah, I started another sweater. I'm thinking this one might be like a pullover now. Oh, I've got so much stuff going on here. So I'll show it to you. I started using the anniversary cake. Oh, it's upside down. Anniversary cake. <laughs> and I started using the pristine... Premier Serenity Chunky with it. Um, I had to frog this about four times. I started doing a bobble stitch with this and didn't work out. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Oh, I don't know what it is. The minute that I get on camera, I just start yawning. I'm not the only YouTuber that does that, too. <laughs> the weirdest thing anyway um <clears throat> so here it is this is the beginning of it and this is the crisscross stitch so um crisscross double crochet double crochet crisscross something like that uh so yeah so i'm starting that <clears throat> but I'm kind of losing interest in it now because I've had to frog them so many times. So I'm just going to put it aside and eat my popcorn. Read the comments on my um, video and catch up on everybody else's videos. Yeah. Are they so cute? <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's what I am going to do. And, uh, oops, Bailey's down here waiting for me to give her a popcorn. Oh, it's like, mm, mm, mm. look at this. Look at her. She's like, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> Right? Yeah. 
So anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna just. George is watching football, so I'm just gonna sit here and relax and uh, not do too much because oops, I'm hurting. My cabinets were supposed to come today for my yarn. They haven't yet. I have a feeling they're not going to come till tomorrow now. <sighs> Which is fine because I don't want to deal with them right now. So, anyway. Alright. I'm going to go now. I'll talk to you in a bit. Hi, you are, newbies. <sighs> so... I was going to try and do some lovies, chickened out, so I was on Instagram and I was looking at different um, patterns, like free, free patterns, like plushy patterns and stuff. I found quite a few, um, but I found one that I thought was really cute. It was a loaf, you know, the loaf cats? This was like a loaf unicorn, but uh, I struggled with that pattern for the last few hours because she didn't tell you when to put in the eyes. Um, <clears throat> I'm assuming that she embroidered her eyes, but I put the loaf part, like the body part together, cinched it up and then was like, okay, now we're going to do the head. There is no head. It's just like the loaf cat, except there's a little bit of a muzzle, which was pink. And it kind of looked like a pig to me. So I was like, mm, okay, I got to fix that. And no eyes. It, it didn't tell you when to put the eyes in or anything. So I searched and searched and searched to figure out how to do embroidered eyes. Um, I thought about Jo from Jo's Web and how she crochets her eyes. So I was on a hunt for that. Couldn't find any that I really liked. And then I came across one that I was like, hmm, that might work. So I did those. Well, actually, I did one set before that. And then came, this was the how it kind of came out. And I was like, that doesn't look right. So... I did another uh, set. I did one and that one didn't work out because it was too big. And then I found this other set that I thought, well, if I do it in like worsted weight yarn, that might work. So I tried it again and they finally worked. Um, so here we go again. Oh, me. Oh, it's nighttime. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I thought, all right, I'm going to try that. And then I was like, I'm not a fan of the muzzle that she has on that. And I thought for a unicorn, if it was a pig, okay, fine. It should be pink. But if it's a unicorn, like a horse, it should be the same color of the body, right? So I changed it and I added a couple of rows to make it kind of more pronounced whereas hers was a little more muzzled <laughs> and I was like okay so finally I did that I got it all together and then I changed the hair because the hair was a little bit different oh my god oh, sorry 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 um <clears throat> so yeah so I just kind of started winging it after that and I've never I don't think have I ever I don't know if I've ever made crochet eyes on a plushie before or any amigurumi for that matter but I did it and I just winged the rest I did the hair all by myself um by my own pattern and stuff and yeah and I think she turned out kind of cute want to see her here she comes Oh, here's her tail. Isn't she cute? I think she's kind of cute. I mean, she still looks a little bit piggish because of the snow that 
the pattern showed. But the snout on the pattern was like heat to here. So it laid really flat. And I was like, mm, no. So, <clears throat> yeah. So, I, I don't know. I love her tail. I think her tail is cute. <laughs> so, I thought about putting her hair, like one of her hairs on that side. But then it would have covered up her her eyes and I thought about putting a couple here but then I was like no so I think he, I think she's cute and then her little feetsies yeah so yeah one more down Ugh. so I got a little bit further on my sweater um not much because because I start working on this, right? So I've got a couple more little amigurumis that I want to try. <clears throat> and, um, yeah. So that's what I've been working on, everybody. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about other things on another video. I think... Chris is getting, I think Chris got her box today. I'm excited. I can't wait to hear what she has to say. Uh, Jennifer should be getting her, um, her plushie on tomorrow. Tomorrow, maybe, possibly. I think it's tomorrow. So that's exciting. So, yeah. And I guess tomorrow would be today for you guys, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Today's Tuesday for me. So Wednesday, she she must be getting hers on, on Wednesday. So it depends on if I get this video out tomorrow or, or Wednesday. Or I mean Thursday. Oh, I gotta go to bed. Okay. <laughs> George is gonna be coming in pretty soon to go to bed too. So Okay guys, I'm gonna go. We're gonna go say bye. Oh you, you can't wave. <laughs> And I will talk to you later. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to do all the things. Subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye. Bye.